Hello everyone and welcome to video 5 in my video series Let's Configure IPv6. In this video we are going to look at Stateless DHCP v6. The agenda is I'm going to show you a demo using a Windows 10 client, um, Windows Server 2019 as the DHCP v6 server and an Aruba OS switch as the local gateway. But we interrupt this broadcast for a news flash. There's been a new DHCP v6 RFC issued 8415. Now what this does is it takes the previous DHCP v6 RFC and some subsequent RFCs and it consolidates it and it actually obsoletes seven older RFCs. So it's 150 pages plus of RFC goodness for you RFC enthusiasts out there. And if you're watching this, I'm sure that you are. Okay, so on to stateless DHCP v6 then. So it's a bit like the Goldilocks of the v6 address allocation methods. Not too hot, not too cold. It sits somewhere in the middle. What it does is it uses Slack for address generation. So the end client can receive a prefix from the local gateway in its router advertisement and it can generate its own globally routable addresses from this prefix. Check out my previous video on Slack for more information about that. But then one of the other things that in modern networks that clients need is things like DNS or the DNS search list, NTP server, etc, etc. And you would normally get this from a DHCP server. So what we do, uh, which you obviously don't have if you're entirely using Slack. So what we do, rather than rely on uh, that RDNSS or configuration on the local switch, which we can rely on the DHCP v6 server to provide this other information for us. So address generation via Slack, other information, DHCP v6. So it's a combination of different address allocation methods. Okay, here we are then. So the gateway issues an RA with the prefix for Slack, the A flags on. So as soon as the client receives that, it will generate its own address, but also the other flag, the O flag is on in the RA. Now what happens then is that the client sends a DHCP v6 information request packet. Now this is different from stateful DHCP v6 which is a request and in, the, in a request you have a request for a lease of an address from the server. Here the client with its information request is just asking for information and the server will respond to that this with it just the server options that are configured on it and on the server we configure the options at a global level rather than in the scope I'll show you this in a moment it responds with a DHCP v6 reply no address issued excellent stuff Okay, so here is a diagram of the demo that I'm going to set up. We have our Windows 10 client, Windows 2010 server, and an Aruba 2930, which issues an RA for the LAN prefix with the flags, the M flags off because we're not using stateful. The O flag is on, the A flag is on because the prefix is going to be used for Slack, and the L flag is on. So. Windows 10 client receives that and it generates its own address and then sends the information request. I should mention that the gateway will forward this on if the server is on a different subnet by using the DHCP v6 relay, just like with Stateful. So we hit our server, the server responds with its reply, DNS, DNS, whatever options you've configured up there. Let's jump over onto our demo then. So here on the left I have my Windows 10 client and on the right I have my switch. Let's have a look at the switch first. So it's a 2930 from Aruba. Show you a show version. I'm running 1607 still. Here's a look at the config. So we've got IPv6 unicast routing. The important VLAN and subnet for the client is VLAN 5, which I've got my prefix on. I'm suppressing RACE at the moment. This is the DHCP v6 helper address then. So this is when it, on this interface, if I receive DHCP v6 messages, I will forward them on to the server, which sits at this address and the server is on this VLAN 101 
I've suppressed RAs out to that because it's a server and it's statically configured. And I've got my DHCP v6 relay on there. So what I need to do is remember we have to add an O flag into the RA. So let's do that now. NDRA other configuration. There we are. So I've added that in, but the just check that VLAN 5. So we're still suppressing the RAs though, so no change. Over on the Windows 10 client, so how is this configured? Well, it's just like DHCP v6 stateful. So if we go to or Slack, so obtain an IPv6 address automatically. Okay. So we'll close that down. And I've got Wireshark running here. I filtered on IPv6. One of the things I wanted to show you, so it's configured for DHCP v6 stateful or Slack with that setup, which says automatically obtain your address. It doesn't determine which one. Now, the thing is with Windows is that this is newly booted Windows uh, client. And I've noticed that the default is that it will start to send solicit messages. So it will try to obtain an address from a DHCP v6 server, even though it hasn't received an RA from the local gateway yet. So it doesn't know whether it's supposed to just use Slack or if it should be using uh, stateless. It goes ahead and tries to uh, kick off with this solicit the stateful process and um, that's a bit of a complication which I'll show you in a moment okay so bear that in mind let's jump onto the server okay here's my server so we go to tools DHCP open this up for you okay so I've got v6 and v4 we've got the green ticks next to them now Previously, I had this scope active, so that was when I was using uh, Stateful. And within the scope, you have the scope option. So this is the information that we want to send to the client. But tying that to a scope I found is a problem. Um, and if you recall what I've just mentioned about the solicit, what can happen is that if the client doesn't receive its RA, which tells it that it should be running stateless with the O flag rather than stateful, the solicit can be forwarded on to the server. If it hits the server, the server will kick off the process to issue an address. So I've just tried a bit of testing on this and that's what I found. So that, that uh, the client issuing the solicit before receiving an RA is a bit problematic here, but no, it's not that much of a problem because what you do to avoid this is like I've, I've deactivated the scope. Don't configure the scope options down here against a prefix. Configure them at this global level here. So these will work for state lists. They won't issue an address even if a solicit does get through to the server, etc., etc. So this is a, a safer way to do this. So we go in server options, configure options here. And against there, I'm going to put my DNS server. Does a check for it. It should be successful, which it is. I'm going to do my search list. So null06.com. Let's add that. Apply. Excellent stuff. I can actually delete that scope off. So let's get rid of that. We're just going to go with the globals then. Now the globals will over can be overridden in a scope if you've got a combination of things on your server, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But from what I saw, it's safer if you just want Slack and stateless to work with the server options. Configure them at a global level. Okay, let's go back. So this is all ready to go. Those are those are set up. So we need to go back over to our devices. And I want to, let's check what's going on with the activity down here. Uh, open up Visual Studio Code and I'll just prove that we haven't actually done anything yet. 
nothing's got through so we've got no uh dns server we don't have a search list yet and if i check for an, an address we've only got our link local address in there okay because we haven't received an ra and the solicits aren't going to be doing anything there's no uh prefix associated with my options up on the server so what do i need to do we need to actually start issuing an ra so bring up uh, wireshark then there you can see look the solicits are firing off i'm not getting a response so, uh let's go i'll leave it uh, with the ipv6 filter VLAN five. so so let's issue this and we'll grab an ra it's quite an awkward command to try to get right okay uh there we are let's see so i've i've done color coding for my uh, stop this come on right there's my ra open it up so you can see right other flag excellent m flags off other flag is on so that's coming off of the configuration on the gateway we've also got the prefix down there for slack with a uh, flag on and l flag so what would we expect over here we should if we run the get net ip address and there we are we've got our addresses which are generated by slack if you're not sure about these two addresses Check out my previous video. I go into details about that. Now, go back to Wireshark. I do a filter on DHCP v6. So here is, this is what we'll have. You've got the solicit. When we receive an RA, we start to send out, remember what I said? It's not a request, it's an information request. So that is a request just for information, not for an, an a lease of an address and if we go in there you see the option request so we're asking for the name server the search list etc and we've got our reply so here is our reply from our server and there we are so there's our so you can see the information here we've got the name server correct and the search list there we have to expand that for the search list excellent and there is no address in there so if we jump over to verify that let's have a look here okay as you can see we've picked up the uh, server 2019 as our dns server and let's uh, have a look at our search list excellent null zero six so what that means is that we should be able to ping off subnet and use resolution for win 19-dc1 the name of the um, windows server 2019 let us give that a go excellent stuff so we're all working uh, that is stateless dhcp v6 in action to summarize then, stateless DHCP v6 combines Slack for address allocation and DHCP v6 server options. So we don't have to rely on the local gateway configuration like RDNSS, etc. Another good thing is that you've got more options that can come from rather than just using the search list or the RDNSS. In the switch configuration, you have more options and they're extensible. So you've got the advanced option on there. Also, I believe it's more scalable because you're consolidating your configuration for your D DHCP v6 rather than relying on every one of your local gateways to be correctly configured. You can just have a cluster of centralized DHCP v6 servers for all of your clients. They just need to be able to reach them and then they'll be issuing the option. So it's a good combination, I think, between the dynamic address generation plus the options. But that's it for my address allocation video. So I've done static, I've done stateful and stateless DHCP v6, and I've done Slack. 
I think I'll move the series on in 2019 and have a look at other things like some first hop security. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching. My name is Joe Neville and goodbye.